Avon. I'm here with Sierra McCormick at the La Costa Resort and Spa Memorial Day celebration, and you're watching On The Spot interviews. So Sierra, I know that you've been acting for a long time. How did you get started? Well, um, when I lived down in Palm Desert, I went to my school drama camp, I like a drama camp, yeah, and my drama teacher suggested that I look into it as like a career, so that's why I kind of drove up here and started auditioning and stuff. It's awesome, and now you're on Ant Farm. What's coming up for season two, because I know you just finished season one. Um, for season two, we have a couple of really cool guest stars, like um, Billy Unger and Zendaya, yeah. and um, also a lot of more costumes and some dance routines. And I interviewed Jake Short. He said that you have Nerf Gun Wars on set. Who usually wins those? Well, Kickin' It has much better guns than we do because they usually come like really prepared. So we had these little tiny little like handguns and they were like big, huge like sniper rifle bazooka things. So we're just like, hey, we surrender. <laughs> and they have their karate moves. So yeah, they have that too. And we just we have smarts and talents and stuff like that. <laughs> Speaking of talents, would it drive you crazy if you really could literally remember everything? For sure. There's some things I'd probably want to forget. I feel for all of it in that sense of the word, but she never has to study, so there's a bright side to that one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and how do you memorize all those lines? Well, usually I get them at the beginning of the week, and I rehearse for three days, so that's usually when I'm getting it in my mind. Like, we have to say it a lot because we rehearse a lot. So um, usually by the end of the week, like Thursday and Friday when we tape, I usually have it unless they change it, and then I really have to just say it over and over and really try to remember it. But I make up little tricks, you know, in my mind just to remember this and remember that. But it, it gets pretty rough sometimes. I bet. <laughs> and then what are your plans for summer? My plans for summer? Well, definitely go to the beach because, well, it's not the beach, but... This is golfing. I want to golf, too, and I want to learn to surf. That's, like, my main goal for the summer. Okay, yeah, it seems fun. What else do you well, enjoy? Seen. I like to um, bike ride, though. That's, like, one of my favorite things to do, like, on the beach, because I love the beach, but I love riding my bike. It's, like, really relaxing in the wind and my hair. It's really pretty. It is. And what is your summer must-have? My summer must-have, like, fashion-wise? Yes. Um, for sure shorts because it's getting warm and throughout the spring and the winter I wear jeans a lot and mm -hmm. so I'm like it's shorts time I need to get out there and wear my shorts and there's so many cute designs too so and what is your Twitter and your Facebook page and I know you get millions of tweets just over the course of a week how can someone get your attention someone can get my attention usually when I'm scrolling through, they get so backed up because a lot of people get upset and they go, oh my God, you didn't tweet me back. You must have forgotten about me. I go, no, I didn't. They get really backed up. But usually I notice someone when they put like a lot of emoticons because that jumps out at me. I go, whoa, what's that? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then I don't have any kind of Facebook page. I need to get on that. But all the ones are posers. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and are you excited to go meet your fans outside? I am so excited because it's such a beautiful setting just to meet all my fans and be really relaxed and they're already probably having so much fun that this is going to be so fun for all of us. Yeah, I'm so excited. Thanks for your interview and I wish you great luck with your Memorial Day weekend. You too. Nice fun. meeting you. You too.